Don't look like you guys really protected Bobrovsky as much as he protected you today. That area in front of him was was a really tough area. Did, was that a fo I know it's a focal point every game. Was it as emphatically put forth today? As you get closer and closer to what we're going to be doing, I think that's going to be a, a much more important area. Uh, even then, you know, we're, we're always talking about it, trying to get people to theirs, trying to protect ours. Um, you know, that's a team that's fighting to get in, so they're saying the same thing. Uh, it's an important part of momentum in that area there as far as how you handle yourself. And uh, I thought we did some good things there. Usually kill the penalties off if you take them in there. I don't know why Savvy gets the penalty, but you usually kill them off. Uh, so we'll, we're still we're going to protect it. John, you moved Bill Carlson over to wing uh, t tonight, and it looked like he got a little bit more action offensively, a little, few more shots on net and more that, attempts. That was a good line. Yeah. It was a really good line. It, it, it ignited us before that goal. Uh, I, 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 we're just a little bit too much east-west offensively. Uh, when we enter the zone, we're trying to make plays through checking instead of just going straight ahead, putting it into the blue. Um, that line did it all night long. Uh, probably our most consistent line throughout the evening, but certainly gave us some huge momentum before uh, when he scores that goal. John, Seth Jones has become a uh at times dominant defenseman in the shadow of a teenager. Yeah. And I mean that half jokingly and yeah. half not. Do you agree with that? And can you comment on Seth Yeah, Jones? I'll comment on his last two games when uh, some of our guys just haven't played well and haven't been totally there. I think it's probably two of the best games I've seen him play. Uh, how he's using his skates, his stick, he, he's pinning guys, he's uh, – it is, he's carrying the puck. I, I can't explain how many uh, things he has done well, especially these past two games. Uh, goes very unnoticed. Uh, he's also in charge of the kid next to him uh, that he's playing with. Uh, but man, he, past 120 minutes, some of the things he's done as far as his battle level and his energy uh, and just his skill, uh, it's, it's really, encouraging as we uh, get ready to play the real stuff. Before the game, you had told Bob McElligot you wanted to see the team get it struck back. Is that something you feel like you accomplished today? I thought we started off well, uh, although the shots on goal in the first period, I, I, I think it's a little misleading. I, I still don't think we're generating enough. I mean, our power play is just, uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to let them work out of it. Uh, we know they're good players. Uh, it's been a big part of our offense this year. That That is... That's not only struggle, but it's kind of been a momentum killer too. Um, I have to believe that's going to come back. Uh, I, I liked a lot of our structure of our game. Uh, we're just not generating enough. Uh, um, some guys have to uh, invest a little bit more time in the energy uh, in these type of situations. A lot of these guys have never been in this situation, in a clinch situation, how do you handle yourself before you get to the playoffs? It's different for them. Uh, so we're, we're trying to get us, you know, get through it and try to do it the right way. But human nature, you end up clicking down just a little bit and the game changes on you. So that's something we have to continue to work at. Does Jenner's play seem to be like the, the type of play, he, he seems to thrive in games like this mm -hmm. and going into the playoffs. Would you would you agree yeah. with that? This, it seemed like he was involved in all the physical, a lot of the physicality today. Yeah, he, he is, uh, and this it's just not today's game. He's been, uh, the, the last 15, 20 games, I think have been his best games, uh, and it's good timing. Uh, remember, Jens was, has, hasn't, what, remember he didn't score any goals. I mean, he's got, what's he have, 14 now? Is it 14, 16? So he's chipped in there, but all through that, uh, he, he, he tried to stay with his game. I thought he got lost a little bit when there was no points. Every night there was no points. And I think he forgot a little bit about just playing the way he's supposed to play. Last 15, 20 games, he is just straight ahead. And uh, it's good timing for us because that's the type of game we're going to need uh, as we enter the playoffs. John, the past few games you've talked about the importance of at least going into the third tide if not up. Tonight was the first time in a while you went mm -hmm. into the final frame up. Yeah. Is there meaning, significance for that? Do you yeah, think? yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I, I thought we, I, I thought Bob made a couple of great saves in the third. I thought a couple he didn't even see, uh, but he is in such good position, made a couple of really good saves. 
I thought we did a pretty good job checking uh, and, 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 and keeping our game simple and trying to get our four checking going. Again, we're just not we're not generating enough uh, onto their net. Uh, but from I, I think from the last game against Washington, where we just sucked, uh, I thought we were much better in structure, uh, much better in our energy. Is it an, is it where it needs to be? I don't think so. I don't think they feel that either. Uh, but that's something we have to battle through, and and use looking up and, and see where we're at in the standings and see who we can catch for some, uh, some motivation here as we play our, our last few games. Does Quincy look like he's adjusted? Uh, you know, he's been here a couple weeks now, and that pairing today seemed very solid for yeah. you. Just your, your thoughts on the pairing in yeah, Quincy's he, game. He, uh, ugly as sin as a skater, um, but he is so, uh, I think he makes up for so much with his positioning. He's just a smart player. He's a smart positional player. Um, Communicates a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a he's a veteran guy, and that's a pretty good deal for us. That was a pretty good uh, pickup as we as we entered it with Murr out. Uh, he's kind of stood in there and 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 done some really good things. Harry's game continues to improve, and you know we have some decisions to make. Uh, what's what the top six is going to be when we enter the playoffs? Harry keeps on pushing and uh, competes and uh, is aggressive up the ice. Uh, he is. In the little time that he has played this year in games, he has improved. And that's just through his work habits. That's why you pull for him. As I've always said, he's such an easy guy to pull for because he doesn't say, he doesn't say anything uh, as far as when he's not playing. He just continues to work at his game. So really encouraged about how he's handled himself. rofsky has been really, really good for a month or so now, all season, really. Just in a game like this where not a tons when your offense isn't yeah. really gel. Just how big of a difference maker yeah. it feels yeah. like to have on your side. He still is a point uh, against Washington. I mean, we could have been down by five in that game. Uh, he steals us a point there. Um, certainly not as busy tonight as he was in Washington, but he he just he's locked in. He he just he just there's not a lot of extra movement. Uh, he just looks confident and. Uh, he's preparing himself. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we need a guy like that, and uh, to, to have a hundred points and more—that's uh, the key position. And he has certainly been consistent with that all year long. 